And for now, joining us for the rest of the hour, very honored to have him join us. Always extremely informative. MaxKaiser.com is his site to find all things Max Kaiser. He's a filmmaker, broadcaster, and a former broker and options trader. He invented the Hollywood Stock Exchange by Counter and Fitzgerald. That ended up being the model of many of the virtual trading systems adopted today. And he's got shows on RT, BBC. The list just goes on and on. I want to get his take on Faber, all the big economists, uh, Rogers, that just keep being right, saying what he's been saying. This next year is the big one. We're already in a global recession slash depression, depending on where you are. And the QE Unlimited is screwing things up. If they cut it off, it's going to blow up. Uh, Max predicted what would happen in the bond market, now in the stock market. I want to get his take on all that. Then we'll look at Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies. Then we'll look at a bunch of other news and take your phone calls. Um, but Max Kaiser, the man that coined the term uh, the casino gulag economy, which really, I think, aptly describes where we're going, joins us now. Max Kaiser, thank you so much for coming on. Where are you right now? Hey, Alex. I'm in London. I'm in London in the UK where there's a what we're having here now is Chinese people are buying up London and uh, they're moving in. They're buying the purchases of assets in London by the Chinese are skyrocketing. And the government here in the UK, including the mayor of London, Boris Johnson, is over in China selling uh, London to the Chinese. And billions and billions are pouring into this town from the Chinese because the Chinese government is printing Two hundred billion dollars a month in quantitative easing. You know, in the in the United States, they do eighty-five billion a month at the Federal Reserve. People are aghast at how much money they're printing every month, and of course, that's why you have this asset price explosion and things like art and uh, diamonds and other assets. Uh, well, in China, they're printing two hundred billion a month, and they're taking all that money and they're buying real estate in London. And of course, the people who live here can't afford to live here anymore. So you see now people are moving into containers, you know, the containers on a container ship. They're stacking those up and people are moving into those uh, as a container ship container. So and literally the fiat money selectively being pumped out by governments uh, to build new high rises for themselves are then uh, d driving up the price of everything else for everyone else. So it's a selective inflation, but it's starting to spill over. Yeah, it's, uh, it's asset price inflation from all that free money printing to keep the, the, the zombie banks alive. But somehow it never, it never makes it into the economy in terms of rising or raising wages. So here in the UK, again, as an example, wages are growing at less than 1% a year. And meanwhile, the understated inflation rate by the government, they say it's at 2.8% a year. But if you add What back, is the goal of the technocrats to lower wages while increasing prices, drive everyone into total submission, create social disorder, then bring in police state as the answer? That was the leaked World Bank plan in 2002. Well, I mean, if you were in their position, you would do the same thing. You would uh, print lots of money and then make sure that instead of having it flow to every part of the economy, causing inflation throughout the economy if you could direct it to just those assets that you own like art high uh, diamonds or uh, minerals and things like that then you've got the best of both worlds you've got you've got your little private bank the central banks printing money and you pocket all that free cash and you keep your zombie bank alive and the zombie bank of course is laundering all your drug money that just came out again that uh, the UK banks are involved in billions of dollars of laundering Mexican drug money. and They need cheap money to do that. They need to be able to hide that money and to move that money around cheaply. And uh, so this is uh, the game. And the, 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 the loss of living standards here in the UK is as sharp as it's been since the Victorian era. Living standards here in the UK are collapsing. I want to get into all these different stories and factoids that you're bringing up and what's happening geopolitically with Russia threatening to nuke Europe if they continue to move weapon systems in against their borders, what's happening in China. I mean, th these are the times historically, World War I, World War II, uh, studying history, the last time the world acted like this, the last time there was this type of economic mismanagement going on, uh, things basically imploded, Max Kaiser. Give us the big picture before you zoom in to the you know, localized stories. Uh, break down what you see happening in the bond market, stock markets. Uh, I'm starting to see more and more inflation, even if they try to contain it and only give themselves the wealth. Wh what do you see happening? 
Well, I think there's a couple of obvious hotspots. One would be in the North Pole region, where Canada just last week decided that they own the North Pole. Russia is very active in the North Pole. They've both and declared they're going to have a race. They're both claiming the fact this week that they, they own it now. Right. Norway is also making claims. So the North Pole is becoming a hot zone. China and Russia are now actively engaged in, in a hot war. You know, we talked about this on your show nine months ago, and at that time it seemed a bit far-fetched. But now... Uh, you've got really things heating up China and Japan, excuse me. Uh, so they, they're at they're they're seemingly ready to to uh, start firing shots at each other. And I think it all goes back to what we've been talking about on your show for a number of years now, which is that the bond market has been going up for 30 years, uh, starting with really go back to Reagan and Thatcher, who brought about the whole era of deregulation and derivatives, which allowed for this enormous 30 year bull market in bonds which is now coming to an end. That means that the era of cheap money or cheap credit is coming to an end. So now, instead of just using financial instruments to gain property and treasure, we're going back to the old tried and true war. You know, war is the old way of getting- Well, that was my next question. They're now announcing in the US, Europe, England, the bail-in, the new form of taxation where they just take the money directly out of your account and give it to private interest, or they take your national park and give it to a private interest. Even though the private interest is the one that's in debt, they've just gotten the government to sign on to their debt. Uh, absolutely amazing. In fact, here's Kurt Nemo's uh, headline uh, on it, uh, breaking it down up on Infowars.com. IMF wants 71% tax rate, uh, and it says old-fashioned taxation is out. Expect outright grand larceny at the local enforcement by government. And they actually say in all these white papers, what you've talked about, they're going to impoverish us till we're literally starving, living in, in shacks like Mexico City. And then they're going to be behind big fences in huge armored ground-based Elysiums, literal <laughs> Greek Elysiums, or the golden fields of the gods, or the chosen humans brought up to be gods is really what Elysium really is. And, and then they're behind, I mean, it's literally the Hunger Games. Yeah, well, it's back to medievalism, and that's the way it was for hundreds of years. The only thing that gave rise to the middle class, Alex, historically, was the bubonic plague. It wiped out half the population in Europe. Lords needed to pay serfs more because there was a competition for labor suddenly for the first time. And lords in were in the dangerous cities, and most of them died from fleas, whereas the peasants out in the country survived in higher numbers. It was actually a wiping out of the elite, I believe, from the numbers that helped the best. But you're right about the uh, the rate of increased pay. Yeah, so you had that was really the basis in the beginning of the middle class as we know it today, and uh, it was due to that that plague. Now, the, 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 the aristocrats and the monarchs, uh, I'm, they never bought into the whole idea of having a middle class. I mean, they're using this opportunity to take us back into the medieval times. They would much prefer having lords and serfs. They would much prefer having In fact, having Bilderberg says that. They say they want to bring back neo-serfdom. You're absolutely right. Well, that they prefer it. I mean, if you were one of the aristocrats, you would rather have uh, your minions uh, toiling for you and having lavish parties. I mean, that's just human nature. So that's what they're returning to. They have the capability of doing this now. And using what we talked about on your show last time, interest rate apartheid, which maybe is an apt phrase with the uh, recent uh, Nelson Mandela uh, funeral, uh, apartheid is back on people's minds. And the interest rate apartheid is basically that if you are one of a Goldman Sachs partner, you can borrow money at 0%. But if you're out in the field, you're a serf, you're, you're one of the working slaves, you can't borrow money for less than 20%, 25%. If you go to a payday lender here in the UK, you can be charged as much as 5,000% annualized rates of return to borrow money. So that's a way to keep the poor poor. And if you can borrow money at 0% and you can speculate by buying a building or a fine work of art and see if that goes up and have the benefit of, if it crashes, being bailed out, by the government, then you've got riskless returns for your risk-free money, and everyone else has got to earn wages that are not even one-third the rate of inflation. I want to show viewers a couple articles here that I've got. Radio listeners can just go to Infowars.com and see them. One's from Zero Hedge. Market valuation has lost every anchor to real world, says David Stockman, top advisor uh, to Ronald Reagan. Here's another one out today from Economic Collapse blog on Infowars.com. Dent, Fiber, Salente, Maloney, Rogers. What do they say is coming in 2014? And it's got a bunch of other Oak Capital, Howard Marks, financial editor Jeff Bruick. 
a whole bunch of other top uh, people. Robert Schiller. Uh, this article is really powerful because it shows scores of really smart guys that have been accurate. And they're basically saying what you're saying. They're saying 2014, we've, we're going to see the big fireworks. We've seen a slow slide so far, but because they've got all these computers and fraudulent you know, systems, they've suspended economic reality, but you can't suspend markets forever. And the word is, once it breaks through, uh, it could go Zimbabwe, Weimar Republic, or it could go into total depressionary freefall. I mean, uh, uh, bottom line, Ron Paul was here yesterday, and he said it's key to get the word out that the insider crony capitalists did this, or they're going to use this collapse to bring in total state-run systems, while they sit offshore working the levers of state control and, and, and they're above the law with diplomatic immunity and are the recipients of the socialism they bring in as the answer to their crony capitalism. So how do we navigate this and what do you say to uh, your peers here uh, basically saying what you're saying and, and, and give us an economic uh, weather report here? Well, the phrase markets are not tied to anything. So let's just dive into that for a second and talk about what that means. So. Markets are trading on expected valuations in the near future or medium term future based on corporations' ability to make profits and make earnings. What we find out in the last 20 years is that most of the profits made by corporations are being made by gaming their cash positions using derivatives, and that these derivatives, which are just financial bets, are collateralized by less and less substantive worthy collateral. And you see proof of this in the global sovereign bond market because the best collateral you could put up to speculate is a AAA sovereign bond. Over the past 10 or 15 years, the number of sovereigns that have AAA credit is dropping. America no longer has a AAA credit. It was cut by, by one of the agencies uh, from a AAA status. And that gives you an indication. So this phrase, markets aren't based on anything. What it means basically is that the collateral upon which all this leverage is based is eroding in real time. And we get to a point where there is no there there. There is no collateral that has no resale value at all. If you were to have to resell Citibank or JP Morgan or Royal Bank of Scotland or Barclays Bank in the open market, based on a mark to market accounting, based on what they actually have on their books and their balance sheet, the sum total you could get in the open market for those assets is zero. As a matter of fact, it's negative because they have hundreds of times more debt than they have in equity. And the only thing that's keeping it alive are these cheap interest rates by guys like Mark Carney, Janet Yellen, and Ben Bernanke, who keep these banks afloat by printing scads and scads of 0% money. But instead of buttressing the economy by offering ways to build new, co new companies that are offering real jobs, it's going straight into speculation on real estate, fine art, and these other assets that all it, all it has all it does is make that top one tenth of one percent aggregate an ever higher concentration of this free money. And you end up with this chasm effect of uh, absolute wealth concentration at the very top versus everyone else who's in abject poverty. Now, as far as Mark Faber and these other fine folks who are predicting this next year as being the year of Armageddon, I, I would posit that we are already seeing that in the emergence of these cryptocurrencies. Because the cryptocurrencies are already telling us that these asset values are crashing. It's not that Bitcoin is up at 2,000%. It's that these asset values that they say are worth something are collapsing by 2,000%. That's the message of Bitcoin. So we're seeing it right now. That's my position. We're going to get into Bitcoin because I know you're a leading expert on that coming up in the next segment. And then uh, go to phone calls. I know I gave the number out and haven't gone to some of the calls yet this hour. Your calls are coming up. Thomas, William, Greg, Ryan, Larry, Max Kaiser can speak to any of your questions. Um, but uh, we're to try to get to you. So be brief when we come back so we can get to the next person. 800-259-9231. We're going to break here in just a moment. But uh, Max, all I know is that they've made a conscious a decision to basically engage in, in systematic institutional fraud to take over the entire civilization in an act of economic conquest. But I don't know how the power structure thinks they're going to escape the blowback in a culture and a society they live in of something this degrading. I mean, the rules of nature and nature's God show that uh, they, will, they will end up being torn limb from limb, probably physically. Uh, for what they've done, but undoubtedly culturally.
Uh, we'll be right back with Max Kaiser. I'm Alex Jones. Hi, I'm InfoWars reporter Leanne McAdoo, and as we age, it is inevitable that we may experience a slowdown in vitality, energy, sexual drive, and overall well-being. The reality is that in addition to the natural aging process, the experts admit that our body is continually being hit with a barrage of what's known as gender-bending chemicals, and that's just for starters. So avoiding these chemicals has always been really important to me. And that's why I was so excited to speak with Dr. Edward Group about what's really going on, specifically to find a solution to the root issue. And what I found was that as experts around the world are now revealing, core hormone levels in many men and women are dropping, but especially men. Testosterone, growth hormone, DHEA, all are being affected. Introducing InfoWars Life Super Male Vitality. Fusing herbs and other essential ingredients to help support your body's natural hormone balance. Developed by Dr. Edward Group and produced at a highly accredited natural products manufacturer, Super Male Vitality is designed to aid the body in ways that may support normal testosterone levels in men. Focus on improving your sexual vitality with the stimulation of libido and sex drive. Deliver hard-hitting benefits while completely free of GMOs, gluten, and harmful ingredients. And it's all made here in the USA and supports our operation. Single men, married men, I recommend that you get a hold of InfoWarsLife.com Super Male Vitality today. And your woman won't be disappointed. have maxed the currencies out, engaged in huge crimes, and have their populations nipping at their heels, they will start a war so that the population primitively gets behind their leaders and then the new wave of fraud and looting and rationing begins while the politicians that started the wars hide. In fact, that's like the song War Pigs with uh, Black Sabbath, generals gathered in their masses, just like witches at black masses, evil minds. And then there's a line in there about uh, politicians hide themselves away. They only started the war. Treating people just like pawns in chess. Wait till their judgment day comes. Yeah. Trying to remember the lines there. And that's what it comes down to in the final equation. You guys print me the uh, lines to war pigs. We're going to go back to Max Kaiser here in just a moment. I want to shift gears with him, but we'll do that here in just a second, then take your phone calls. You can uh, follow uh, him, of course, on Twitter at Max Kaiser. Follow us at Twitter at Real Alex Jones. His site's maxkaiser.com. Our sites are prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. And really invaluable info continually out of the mind of Max Kaiser. Uh, briefly, Christmas is almost here, and you not only get some of the best products out there at a very low price, you support the broadcast and vote with your dollars or your euros or however you're purchasing products from us. It's free association. It's what built civilization. It's what created the Renaissance and the Enlightenment. We're battling for the middle class. We're battling for quality. We're battling for productivity and prosperity. If I was a top globalist, I would not be trying to dumb people down. I'd be like Henry Ford. Didn't agree with a lot of stuff Henry Ford said, but I did agree with paying his industrial workers, in some cases, 10 times what other workers were paid. And you know why? He, he had a plan. He said, if we start paying people a lot, it'll just raise the quality of civilization and we can just industrialize everyone and make everyone rich. He wanted to be the king of an incredibly industrialized society and an, and an agrarian society. He wanted to empower farmers that's not how these people think. And his thought was basic Renaissance economics. He didn't invent that. You could sell more cars if, uh, if uh, people are being paid a lot. But see, that's been our economy. They're getting us away from that now. And their argument is it's bad for the earth. Well, you can argue that all day. The point is they're exempting themselves from the rules of this. You shouldn't be able to fly, but I've got you know 10 aircraft. I'm Al Gore. I'm a socialist. I want higher taxes, but I'm exempt in France. We're going to go back to Max Kaiser here in a moment. The point is, 
Our products fund our operation, and they're the very best. If I find coffee I absolutely love, I go find out where they're getting it, and I go get my own blend of it, get coffee even better. Grown in southern Mexico in the high mountains, 100% shade grown Arabica, beyond fair trade. Wake Up America blend, very affordably priced. We have the immune system support. We have the fluoride shield that has six compounds, including nascent iodine, in a double-sized bottle. So it's a massive discount. And it just all works to detoxify the body. And then you can also take it with the nascent iodine to supercharge it. Uh, I'd plug the Super Male Vitality, but it's basically sold out for about six weeks till we get more. Uh, but it's all available at InfoWarsLife.com. No brag, just fact. You hear the rave reviews. We don't screen your calls, folks. People are blown away. I'm not going to sell you something that didn't blow my socks off, okay? Whenever I went out and, you know, developed this with top doctors and scientists and then, you know, started taking it for a few months before. Let me tell you, this will <laughs> just wait till you take it. I mean, the coffee's great. May not be your favorite because taste varies. People are like, whoa, this is really good coffee. And it's the same thing with all of it. InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888 Two five three three one three nine, and you can uh, give the gift of fluoride detoxification and uh, so many other issues, or a nice bag of quality coffee roasted in Colorado, grown in southern Mexico, helps the farmers all around. Infowarslife.com, infowarsstore.com, or made in 1776.com is our Made in America brand of high quality apparel and bronze and nickel belt buckles with the terrorist George Washington on them and pro Second Amendment stuff. It's pretty dirty, folks. It's pretty nasty. Pretty bad stuff there. Uh, it's, it's the type of stuff that made the U.S. have half the world's wealth with 5% of the population. It's really terrible. Okay, uh, anyways, uh, it's freedom. It's very horrible. I apologize again. Anyways, InfoWarsLife.com. Going back to Max Kaiser. Max, here's the question I'm trying to get across to you. The elite are acting like they don't care anymore. Uh, it's like Nero marrying, or I guess it was Caligula married his horse, and Nero you know, burning down half the city for fun while he played his fiddle. They don't care anymore across the board. It's getting crazier and crazier and crazier. The looting, the stealing, the cop shooting some guy because the guy laughs at him. The cop doesn't get in trouble. I mean, it just seems like not just the elite, the public are going crazy with this unnatural system. There are drug ads now pushing, you know, amphetamines. They give fighter pilots that three days of it makes you go crazy. I mean, what's happening in this mass mental craziness, how do the elite think they're going to get away with all this, Max Kaiser? I'll give you uh, a new concept to chew on. The virtuous cycle versus the vicious cycle. Now, you mentioned Henry Ford a minute ago. Henry Ford, being a industrialist and an economist, realized he could create a virtuous cycle by stimulating demand for his automobiles by raising the wages of his workers. Now, when he raised the wages of his workers, he did so by raising their cash in their paycheck. Now, flash forward to 2013 and a vicious cycle. Central bankers like Mark Carney here in the UK say they want to stimulate demand, just like Henry Ford wanted to. How do they do it? Not by increasing people's cash, by giving people more access to debt. They increase demand by increasing debt. And the reason this is a vicious cycle is because that debt has interest costs associated with it. And the more you go into debt, the more interest costs you incur and the slippery slope down into poverty you go. And we see that vicious versus virtuous play out on a cultural sense. When you have a group of people uh, who now have access to interest-free money and minions that'll work for free, who are dying to get themselves greater into debt. They're, they'll stumble over each other. They'll stab each other at Walmart the day after Thanksgiving to increase their debt load. When you have people that foolish, you become cruel. You become evil. You, you enjoy then watching these gladiator shoppers kill each other to increase your rent income because you're selling them the access to more debt. And it creates a social class of very cruel and sadistic overlords. And this is what rules in America, around Europe, and in the UK. Devastatingly put, and man, uh, gladiator shoppers, that is a great way to describe these people. And uh, they have an EBT malfunction in Louisiana where people can buy unlimited they were just throwing random things in their baskets. They didn't even care. 
I mean, it's like annoying to have to go to the store and buy stuff when you've lost it or broke it. You know, I hate having to go buy new stuff, but I see other people just absolutely getting off on it. And I'm not against materialism. It's just that if it's at the top of your needs, you're really a slave to it, Max. And I, I just, I see it as one of the historical indicators of a society in decline. And, and I, more and more I realize, Max, I don't think we're going to be able to pull out of this. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.